Hi, I'm Mike, Army veteran, Googler, and one of the leaders of Google VetNet, Google's internal network of veterans, military spouses, and allies. The most frequent question I receive from other veterans and military spouses is, how do I land a job at Google? The following video will walk you through the recommended steps you can take to best position yourself for a role at Google. Here's your chance to hear directly from Googler veterans and military spouses on how to find the right role for you, the best way to apply, and how to prepare for your interview. While these tips focus on Google's application process, we think you can apply them to any company in any industry. To help you find a role at Google, let's first discuss aligning your interests and skills before looking at job listings. Here are some questions to get you started. What jobs and hobbies have you done in the past? Review both your civilian and military experience. Try to identify what you did and did not enjoy doing. What skills did you use? Perhaps they involved gaining support, coordinating efforts across many stakeholders, or managing a project. Look for themes. Perhaps you enjoy making plans and organizing, reading and writing, helping people, analyzing data, or doing visual art and design. Maybe you prefer collaborating closely with others or working at your desk most of the day. Do you consider yourself a numbers person, a storyteller, an operations expert, or something else? What are you passionate about? Pay attention to news stories that capture your interest. What do you enjoy reading about in your free time? This can yield insight into which industries or technologies inspire you and might breed success at Google. What would your ideal job be like? Envision who you work with, what you're working on, where you are, and how you spend your time. Are there any limitations in your transition? Consider things like geographic restrictions or gaps in skills listed as minimum qualifications. Now that you have a sense of what drives you and your ideal role, check out the Google Career site to find your next position. While engineering and technology roles are core to driving our businesses, there are a number of non-technical business roles that do not require experience in computer science. We're always looking for future Googlers in sales, program and project management, operations, marketing, finance, legal, and more. If you have a technical background and enjoy building products for everyone, check out our engineering roles. If you're more into identifying problems and exploring solutions, product management may be a good fit. If you like organizing and coordinating efforts, take a look at technical program management, which helps scope engineering work and track progress across various stakeholders. These are just some of the technical roles available, and we encourage you to review others. For more, subscribe to the Life at Google channel on YouTube and watch related videos such as Meet Product Managers at Google. We also encourage you to use Google's Military Occupation Code job search tool. Simply type Jobs for Veterans into Google, enter your military occupation code, and see a list of open jobs at various companies that value your military experience. How you choose to tell your story to Google, the recruiter, and the hiring manager is an integral step in advancing your candidacy. Before you do anything, ensure that you have translated the military experience on your resume into language that a non-veteran recruiter can understand. Terms like brigade and executive officer may be common in the military, but we encourage you to think about what those would be in the corporate workforce. Instead of brigade, you can say organization. Instead of executive officer, deputy manager. Instead of Army, you can say the best branch ever, beat Navy. While you know your experience best, there are numerous organizations that can offer assistance, including the USO. Google offers resources for resume assistance, including a veteran's resume course co-developed with the Columbia University Center for Veteran Transition and Integration. Be sure to visit grow.google slash veterans for this as well as other support channels. Additionally, we hold annual veteran and military spouse resume workshops around the country every year that you're welcome to attend. There, you can have your resume reviewed by a Googler in a personalized one-on-one -on -one session. Once your resume is squared away and you understand the type of roles that would be a good fit for you, you can apply online. And we'll cover that in more detail later. There's also other approaches, including building relationships and connecting with people who can assist you along your journey. Here's how to do that. First, find a mentor. Mentorship offers great value in paving a way to a company like Google. 
There are numerous veteran and spouse-focused mentorship organizations that can facilitate these connections. For mentorship opportunities and networking events for veteran and military spouse communities, look to organizations like these. Be sure to research these on your own, find the best fit, and sign up. Then it's time to network. Networking is a powerful tool to meet new people, understand their business challenges, and identify how you can add value. But what does it mean to network? Networking is not just rubbing elbows at cocktail parties and exchanging business cards. Rather, it's building meaningful relationships and exchanging ideas with people you don't normally interact with. You can do this in a number of ways. Attend meetups, sign up for classes, attend events for organizations like 4Block, Operation Code, and Bunker Labs. Or do what I did. Research and message veterans and military spouses on LinkedIn. They offer a free one-year subscription of LinkedIn Premium to veterans and spouses in addition to a year of LinkedIn learning to learn hard skills you might need for a new role. If interested in building your IT skills, Grow With Google also provides an IT professional certificate course for veterans and military spouses you can pursue for free. When reaching out to people you don't know, ensure the message is short, to the point, and ends with a call to action. Here is a bad example of an outbound message. It's too informal, doesn't convey valuable information, and doesn't lead anywhere. Compare it with a great example that introduces the messenger, why she's reaching out, and the requested next step. If you end up scheduling a chat with a Google employee, do your research, come prepared with thoughtful questions about his or her specific business team, and end with a call to action. Perhaps you want them to introduce you to more people on their team, or ask if he or she is comfortable referring you for a role you found on the career site. Have the objective of the meeting in mind before you meet with the Googler. Here's a list of starter questions to bring to your informational chat. One possible outcome of building a relationship with mentors and Google employees is that you could potentially receive a referral for a specific role at Google. While referrals aren't the only way to get hired at Google, finding a Google employee to vouch for you can be helpful in surfacing your application. To summarize, prepare your resume, find the right role, and apply online. Once you've applied online, a recruiter will review your background and hopefully advance you to a phone screen interview. Now it's time to really prep. The Google interview process may seem daunting, but relax. We don't ask impossible brain teasers or trick questions. For most roles, you will likely first conduct a phone interview with a recruiter, where you should be prepared to walk through your resume, discuss your background, and explore your interest in the role. After a successful recruiter interview, you may be scheduled to chat with someone on the hiring team. If advanced again, expect three to five more interviews from a wide range of Googlers. Throughout this process, you should be evaluated on four criteria. Role-related knowledge, how well you know the components of the role, general cognitive ability, the ability to process on the fly and pull together disparate bits of information, leadership, and Googliness. For more information on what those mean, please view the How We Hire at Google YouTube video included in this caption. During your interviews, expect to be asked two types of questions, behavioral and hypothetical. Behavioral are those tell me about a time questions that offer you the opportunity to share some of your previous experiences and the impact you've had in those prior roles. Hypothetical questions are imagine if questions that evaluate your ability to think on your feet, ask clarifying questions, and approach the problem in a structured way. When preparing for behavioral questions, we recommend you research common interview questions. Think about two to three stories of each type of behavioral question and rehearse them. Each answer should follow the star format. What was the situation? What was the task given to you? What were the actions you took individually? And what were the qualitative and quantitative results? When crafting your answers, it's important to note that there is real power in telling your story. As veterans, we defend the country and do amazing things that speak to our resilience and character. These are important traits to many prospective employers. Remember, while you convey your impactful stories from the military, ensure you adjust the language so that anyone can understand the story, just as you did for your resume. For more technical interviews, such as those for product manager roles, there are a host of resources that offer insight. We recommend books like Cracking the PM Interview, in addition to our How We Hire webpage, which offers further guidance. For example, you can find sample coding questions on sites like CodeLab, Quora, and Stack Overflow. 
and the book Cracking the Coding Interview may also be helpful. Please also check out the Preparing to Apply or Interview at Google playlist on the Life at Google YouTube channel, as it contains invaluable advice to guide your preparation. Equipped with your stories, backgrounds, and practice answers, you should consider researching your interviewers and the business areas they work in. A lot can be found online. For each interviewer, try to know, what is their educational and career background? How long have they been at Google and on what teams? Have they published anything or spoken publicly at an event? Have they worked on an interesting project? You should also research the team they work on. Have they made any announcements or launched any products recently? Have you tried those products and have thoughts on how to improve them? It's helpful to run an initial SWOT analysis on the team, noting the product's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities for growth, and threats from current and potential competitors. But don't solely focus on the team that you're interviewing for or the teams of your interviewers. You should also think about the larger Alphabet portfolio. Armed with this research, come to each interview with three to four topical and thought-provoking questions. This will demonstrate your curiosity, research, and knowledge of the space. Here are some good examples of questions to ask interviewers, and here are some bad ones. A good barometer for these is, can you easily Google any answers? If so, don't ask them. Afterwards, ensure you send each of your interviewers a personalized thank you note within 24 hours of the interview, either directly to the interviewers or through your recruiter. These can be short and sweet, but it's always helpful to include a sentence or two about a specific topic you discuss. Lastly, relax and have fun. Let your personality shine through and project confidence. Your experience in the military or as a military spouse is valued at Google. You possess the skills and experience we're looking for, and we're thrilled to consider you. We hope this video was informative and helpful in providing you tactical steps to help you land a job at Google. Visit our Veterans Career site at g.co vets for more information. Good luck and see you at Noogler Training.